Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck. So we're basically waiting for the months to pass so that we can start to sell our sugar beet, which is currently piled up in the field over there. Uh, you would have seen it in the previous episode, if you watched the previous episode. But really, before we can move on to the correct month, which I think is December for sugar beet, we need to make sure that the cows have enough food. So let me just check that sugar beet price first of all. Sugar cane, sugar beet, mole valley. Uh, yeah, the best time is January, but it might be very good in December. So hopefully we can just go to December. Uh, but we're looking for about four, four, seven-ish. I'd be happy with like 420, but anyway. Um, yeah, let's let's start to put this in. We actually do still have loads and loads of silage. So we still don't need to break into the silage pits. In fact, we've already broken into it. We are selling the silage instead. And yeah, I'm only doing one at a time because that's all we need. We can actually do two hay instead of two silage. But I've done this many times before, so don't worry. You don't need to watch all of this. We'll fast track it, so we'll just see the bales go in. First of all, we have silage, as you've just heard. Two hay bales. Just get them dropped in. And yeah, because of the size of those bales, it actually didn't have space for straw. But that's fine, it's still a really good mixture. We don't actually need straw in a mixture. It's just for padding it out and keeping the cost down. But as it turns out, we actually have loads of silage and hay, so we don't really need to keep costs down. So I think now that we've done that, we can move on to November. They do have enough water, but I should think in November we're going to have to do another top-up. Doesn't need to be first thing. So, yeah, more silage. Go into the mixture, and do they need any more water? Yes, they do. So we'll do more water as well. Actually, I will just elapse the time until about six or seven p.m. Just so it's going dark. We don't really want to be. Oh, of course, this is winter. We don't want to be doing it in the dark. We do have lights. Some very fiery colours. This time, I'll probably just start with the straw because uh, it, it will still work. It will basically shred the rest of the hay as we're unloading, so we can actually get more in this way. So that should do it nicely, looking good, and now I'll just do the rest. all the water they need. We're getting a fantastic sunset shining through the slats in the wood, although that's just really blown it. <laughs> uh, right. You can kind of see. Beautiful. So, yes. Unload. Should be enough food as well. Yep. So we will check the price, because we might as well. Before we move on, uh, sugar beet is now 415, 424, very good. Okay, so jump cam, we're now at 442. I've just done quite a bit of setting up off camera, but we do still have another machine to get, and that is the machine that picks up the sugar beet off the ground. So yeah, we've got this lorry, the Volvo 550 Euro 6. It's um, 
I think it's a 56 ton trailer that, or 56,000 litre trailer. Um, that is going to be super handy. That trailer just needs to have a bit more put into it, it's about 85% full. So let's now get the beat machine, the mouse 5, uh, the Roper mouse 5, and I don't think we need to do any other modifications there. So that is £18,800, very expensive, but it will save us a serious amount of time. So this is going to be so nice to have. We still have, even after renting all this expensive equipment, 106,000. The lorry was 8,000 and the trailer was four and a half, I think. But yeah, nothing is going to be as expensive. Well, of course, the, the half itself, but nothing today is going to be as expensive as this machine. Yeah, the half itself was probably like 25,000. So a lot of money has been ploughed into this beat, but it's going to give us a good return. It's going to be a tricky entrance with the lorry I just reversed it into here. I think we're going to have to do the same. I was wondering if we could actually do it on the road. So we have the lorry on the road and then just basically put the uh, the conveyor belt over the hedge. It might work. We do have a line of wires and poles going down the side. Electrical poles. Um, which is a problem. But then we're going to have a counterweight on this. So that's going to swing out anyway. So we'll just top this up, it won't take long. It's almost full. There we go. And now, and then we don't feed ourselves into the machine. No, we'll just move this out of the way. Now we need to do the lorry. Uh, I have absolutely no idea how much sugar beet we actually harvested, but everything that we did harvest is here. So it is possible to calculate, as we sell these loads, the amount that we have produced. I would guess it's in the 200,000s, like 220,000 litres. Can't say for sure. Why did I stop so early? Am I a bit too far away? No. Right, so yeah, this will take a bit longer, with it being much larger. Try and fill it evenly. Should be good. Yeah, the counterweight might be a problem with that pole when we get closer to it, but I'll just have to be careful. Well, that was a bit of a fiasco getting into here, but uh, thankfully we do have that grass and it's not muddy. Yes, it, it would be probably a terrifying thought driving this fully loaded lorry over that grass in the winter time in real life. But thankfully, in this game, yes, we, uh, we don't really get stuck and if we did, it's pretty easy to get out again. So I am recording the amount of leases that we're selling. So far we've got 59,400 in here. The next trailer is 29,449 litres. I'm not recording... Should I record the grand total of money? 26,285? Maybe I should. Okay, I've made note of that. Um, let's tip the next trailer. We're not going to do any more loads in this trailer.
see what we get for this. But that money is rocketing up. Nice and healthy. Must be 15,000 at least. Oh, Disappointing. Uh, no, it's still very good. Okay. So yeah, 13,031. Uh, that's why I want to use a bigger trailer. Because that's the thing with sugar beet. It's not worth much per 1,000 litres, but you get a serious amount. You get so much of it, and we've just got to shift massive loads in a relatively small period of time. So, yep, let's just get these returned. Of course, I would jump cut for that. Right, the lorry is preparing to refill, and it looks like we have made a bit of a dent on the pile. Maybe we've taken a third? I see there's at least two more full loads though. Maybe even more. Uh, where can I put this? We'll put it here. Yeah, so um, get that going. Actually, I probably could have got it going before, but we do have to keep moving forwards. We move the lorry forwards. Yeah, it's going. It's definitely eating it up. It's a fairly good rate. Let's put more in the front. And I think probably from now onwards I'm going to do a time lapse of the majority of it. I will record the final piece being picked up. However much that's going to be. But we do know that this is going to be another 59,400 litres. Certainly going to be a full load. Uh, the price might have changed a bit, so it might not be 26285 like it was before. Might be a little bit higher. It might be the same. But I think we're almost there. So let's get selling. Okay, right, here we go again then. We have another 59,400 litres, which is going to be uh, 26285 because we're not actually progressing time at all. So, yeah, the value of these crops won't be changing. But we are doing well. So far, we're currently sitting at probably 80,000 pounds in. 80 to 90,000 pounds. And we do still have another load. And I've just demolished their wall. There goes our profit. Yeah, we should get it all in this time. This is this is really nearing an end. And actually, if I just park it on the pile, it should be able to get most of it without me moving again. But it's done well, this setup. So it should do for the price. But yeah, it's just an amazing setup and it, it just takes the stress out of it. It's so fast and easy to pick it all up off the ground. And what a lovely lorry. You will have seen me crash in the time lapse. Uh, this this trailer is totally overloaded, so it, it basically is just too much for this going downhill. It pushes the tractor unit. Uh, if I had the 
option enabled which allows you to limit the trailer weight so it keeps it within a, a legal and safe weight then that probably wouldn't have happened there we go we are done so it didn't take that long I was probably expecting it to be a bit longer than that that can be returned we haven't really had it for very long but we have another 26,229 which is actually oh that is so close that is almost the capacity of the other trailer the small trailer it would have fit into the trailer on the class and we would have been probably at like 95% full but anyway not to worry this is uh, this is faster and well we're paying to rent it anyway so we want to put the hours on here Love the interior. Last time getting into here too. We'll be wearing that entrance out. So whatever we get is going to be our final number recorded and then I can do the calculation. 11,606. Right, so let's get the amount of pounds and the amount of litres that we have in total. Well, I have the grand total. Let's just return this lorry first. And that. And that. So, yeah, from that field, we managed to produce 233,878 litres of sugar beet. And when we came to sell that, we made 103,492. Now that was, I would say, about average, just because of the amount of money we had to spend on machinery. Uh, we probably could have got a little bit more, because we did sell in December, not January. But it wasn't bad. I don't know what the profit was, exactly. But um, yeah, it must have been £50,000, roughly. Maybe a bit more. So I think for that field, £50,000, that's pretty good just one field anyway we do finish on 209,000 pounds very very healthy bank account balance which is great to see uh, a good place to leave it so we can resume next time and probably spend that money thank you so much for watching everybody hopefully you've enjoyed it and until next time see you again very soon bye for now